Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, before I get started on showing you what I purchased, uh, I got it a couple of days ago. I wanted to tell you uh, an update on my six key ring holder. Uh, the glazing came off. Um, can you see that? It's pretty bad. I mean, it looks big in the picture, but I brought it back to the store and they're sending it out six to eight weeks. They said that was normal wear and tear. I wasn't really happy with what they said. And I usually, I'm so satisfied with that store, but on this particular thing, I wasn't very happy about it because I shouldn't have to be without my six key holder. So let me, I want to show you something I got. Sorry about that. But I hated being without my six key holder, so I went and got this from eBay for $10. It's leather and holds six keys. It's got another key holder here, and this one sticks out so your big key can just sit on this and you don't have to worry about putting it all in. But it still closes up, even if I put this one in. So I was really missing my six key holder, so I got this uh, to replace it. But I think they should have gave me a new one because I got it January 30th and I brought that in in August. So seven months and to be told that's normal wear and tear. Well, I don't think for $250 that's normal wear and tear. That's just how I'm feeling. Plus I had to put $10 into this. All right, so I don't know if I ever showed this um i got the coin purse and i'm actually using it for coins and i love it i have to admit i never really ever had coins with me because i couldn't stand them just dangling around and i don't like carrying big purse uh wallets my biggest wallet from louis vuitton is the the um compact coin purse so the zippy one so here is this that's one of the things i got also, while I was at Marshall's, I found this um, Marc Jacobs wallet for $69. I think this retails for $200. Well, if you go to stores like TJ Maxx and Marshall's, you might end up finding these incredible buys. And it, the leather is so soft. And let's face it, Marc Jacobs was one of the designers for Louis Vuitton. So... I haven't used it yet, but I'm loving it. Then while I was there, I always look at their sunglasses. And I've got a couple of, uh, I have Fendi uh, that I bought from Marshalls or either TJ Maxx. Around $69 for the Fendi. I've gotten others in the $30 range. But was I shocked? I don't know if you can see this. It's got, uh, it's silver and it's perforated. And it's by Marc Jacobs. I don't know if it's going to show up. No, it's not going to show up. Oh, right here. By Marc Jacobs. The funny thing was, I looked online. These retailed for $160. I got them for $4. Can you imagine $4 for Marc Jacobs? They were at Marshall's. And... Um, I just couldn't believe it, but when I got home and I looked at the tag, it said Rokaware on it. Rokaware is another brand of I, of glasses and accessories, so I couldn't believe it. I says they put the wrong, apparently wrong tag. I don't think it would have sold for 160, but it probably would have been a good 50 dollars, and I got them for four four dollars. So what I bought was came in the new packaging. That's the receipt for my uh, six key holder. I got the new pack, uh, the new envelope as well with my receipt inside. I didn't think I was going to like the packaging. I have to admit the ribbon is beautiful. Can you see it? It says Louis Vuitton on it. And I'm going to show you what I got. My first Azure piece. The detail on this is so amazing. 
And why did I buy it? Well, my father came to America. Uh, he was a citizen, but he went back to Portugal. And then uh, after he got married, he came to America and he left my mom and eight kids in Portugal. And he was here a year working to pay for the uh, voyage for my um, sisters, two of the older sisters, to come help him to work so that he could bring the other kids, which he finally did after two years. I was born in America and my younger sister, so there's 10 of us. And my mom had actually 12 pregnancies. One child died at 14 months and the other one before birth. But I'm loving this because my dad dressed like this man here and wore the fedora. My mom, no, not, nothing like that. But he came over on a ship, and then all my sisters and brothers and my mom followed two years later. So, loving this piece. That's the inside. I mean, it's just like a, tep a typical mini pochette. It was made in France. Well, that's about all I've got to say about this. I mean... Uh, everyone has probably already seen this that loves Louis Vuitton. I'm glad I got it. I saw it on eBay. Let's see if I can find that um, for a real crazy price. Oh, where are you? Oh, my goodness. Where is it? Of course, I'm not going to find it. Anyway, somebody's sell selling it on eBay for 700 and. I don't know if it's $89 or $99, one sold for $5.95, because right now on the LV website, you can't buy it. It says call for availability, but I had put my order in even before they were actually in the store, so that's my little unboxing. I want to thank everyone for stopping by. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, I'm asking you to subscribe. I don't have that many subscribers, so I would really appreciate it if you do like it. Give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, don't give it a thumbs down because I get very, um, I don't know, hurt, I guess I should say. So anyway, I want to say good night to everyone. Have a great week. And um, Indonesian Delight, I believe that's her name. She asked me to do a review of my new purchase. And I also want to say thank you to September Promises for purchasing something from me. I really appreciate it. She's such a sweet girl. And uh, all my other subscribers, Martha, Cho, M Mark's not my subscriber, but he's my friend. I like to say hi to him. And I want to thank everyone for stopping by. And this is a beautiful piece. Good night, everyone. God bless.